How to be successful as a real estate agent. It doesn't matter if you are starting as a real estate agent or specializing your digital marketing towards real estate agents. The critical question you need to ask is how to be successful as a real estate agent. This video will be part of the advanced realtor training that will be coming very shortly to get all of the software as a service running well and make it so you can finally leverage your time to getting clients and offer training that will help them become real estate success that they have dreamed of. This training will be built equally for a bit the real estate professionals and digital agents who will be representing the real estate. Out of all of the videos produced, this has a very good chance to be the most important. We will be going through an overview. After that, the first week training will be on setting everything up for success, setting expectations, and pointing out the different equal sets between success and failure. Is it hard to become a successful real estate agent? It is a question that I'm often asked, and the simple answer is it depends. Becoming successful as a real estate agent is very much like any other aspect of life. If you want to be successful, you need to have goals. Just think about it for a moment. If you didn't have any goals, then how could you track success? But even goals will not get you where you want to be. To get where you want to be, it takes consistency. And not just consistency in your daily habits. One of the biggest things I have found with people who fail is not taking responsibility. If they fail, it's somebody else's fault. Maybe something happened that they believe stopped them from achieving. Well, I have some bad news if you are one of these people, bad things happen to us all, and it isn't the wrong thing that happens. It is the way you deal with it. You have a choice on how you let whatever is affecting you. If you are this sort of person, and you start on a program like this, you might well have started other courses before. But, even though you gain knowledge from them, you see yet another shiny object. And so go after that, without giving any system a chance to improve your life. You end up on a Ferris wheel of failed attempts at making money online. Until you eventually give up, thinking that money can't be made online. Even though you feel like you have tried everything, then in truth, you haven't given anything a good go at all. You will quickly tell if you are that person as you might well set up a few of the landing pages, get a little way through the training and then see something else and change direction. For your good, I will tell you if you are that sort of person, break away from that right now, stick with and go through each of these training as they are laid out, and you will find success, as long as you put the commitment. This course is not made for instant riches. There is no such actual course out there that you can find easy money from. To do a solid business that is repeatable might take a few weeks. I'm sorry if this sounds harsh, and in a way, it is meant to be. If you aren't up to the challenge, then you can't expect the rewards. This is what I think of as short-term thinking, assuming that you can go through the course and get all of your leads and sales within the week. I'm not saying this won't happen, but thinking long-term will make sure that it will happen regularly. The mindset that will get you success is that of a long-term business person. Go through this course and follow what is said, have patience and dedication. Whether it takes a week, two weeks, or two months, stick to it and tell yourself that you will make a success. Don't worry. It will come. You will be generating leads. You will be growing your networks. It isn't unusual that you will get a lead, and they will take action six months later. On the other hand, it isn't uncommon to get 10 to 15 leads in the first week. No matter what luck you have, stick with the program and continue to follow up with your messaging, text, and email marketing. Don't worry. We are going to show you exactly how. After a while, you would have built up so much value people will want to work with you. Start with the end in mind. In his book, Seven Habits of Highly Effective People, Stephen R. Covey talks about what you hope to achieve when you see success in your life. Is it spending more time with your family, having the money to travel? Make sure that you write down what you want somewhere, as a goal that isn't written is more of a dream. Next is thinking about your why, why do you want these things? This is where you can put yourself a strong why so that on the bad days, you have something to look at and push you on when you don't want to. What is going to motivate you and take you to the next level continually? What are the obstacles? We don't want to spend too much time on obstacles, as we don't want anything to put us off on our journey, but at the same time, we do need to be aware. 
so quickly list down what you think might be a problem, and then don't stop there think of solutions. Maybe you are thinking lack of money, use organic. For every problem that you can imagine, there is also a solution. Running this business isn't taking massive amounts of time, so don't stress too much about problems. Can you get rich being a real estate agent? The good news is anybody can develop the skills to go through this training and become a six or seven figure agent. Certain gurus are showing figures and making promises that if you put $50 into ads, you will come out with $10,000 back out, although this can is done consistently. But in reality, if this were the case, everybody would be throwing their money into becoming a real estate agent and running Facebook ads like crazy people. It would be better than the lottery. Instead of trying to hit gold every time and find those unicorn ads, we will stick to our strategies that will not fail you on your way to success. We've got a lot of automation in place. We're going to talk about here in a second why Facebook ads are so important. They're so important because we can leverage our time, and we can be doing things and focusing on the three key things that we'll talk about here. Real Estate Landing Page We need to set up a real estate landing page, which is a completely separate thing from your main website. And the reason why we need a landing page is simple. It converts. Your landing page has one job, and that is to convert visitors to your page. It will convert visitors into leads by collecting their name, phone number, and email. The most significant difference between your website and your landing page is your landing page will lead people down a flow where the only option is to give details. Whereas a website has too many choices, with various links, social icons, and so on. It gives the visitors too much choice. A website can be confusing for a website visitor, as they don't know what they want. They know that there may be interest in a home, or they're interested in selling their home. Still, all these other things are just more distractions than helping guide them. So when a landing page is set up, then you need to concentrate on pure lead generation. When somebody clicks on a Facebook ad, we can send them straight through to your landing page and then automate collecting the viewer's details. People are looking to get instant access to a home's price and picture, and once they see those, they either want the property or don't. And because of that, the conversion rates on a landing page are dramatically higher. Your real estate website. A lot of people will ask if they can get rid of their website. However, your website is essential even though you would never send anybody to your website from an ad. Your website is excellent for your credibility. People can go through Google and type in your website name or your name. A website will help you build trust, and of course, you can rank inside of Google with the correct SEO in place. However, using a website only is very hit and miss when a website is used to get leads. SEO is great but trying to track your results using SEO is extremely difficult to follow. And if leads do come in, it's very sporadic. Facebook Ads when using Facebook ads and a landing page, we can become a lot more direct. We know that spending X amount per day has a pretty good idea of how many people we will get to our landing pages. We will have a good idea of how many leads we will gather from the money spent and gain a consistent amount daily. This is what makes Facebook ads great for real estate. I am using Facebook ads as an example here. Still, everything works just as well with organic, referral, cold call. You name it. Facebook ads are just a way of making it on demand. All we want is some mechanism that will drive people to your landing pages. A call. Just because you have the details doesn't mean that you have a lead. A lead isn't good until you can get them on a call. So if it is a warm lead, then getting on a call will be pretty straightforward, and then the next objective is a face-to-face -face meeting. This could be a meeting in your office open house, pretty much. The great thing is making the connection. Because a home is possibly the most significant investment that most people will make in their lives. Building trust and gaining importance is an important step to move on and build confidence. It's then at some point where a deal can then be closed. However, not everybody is ready to jump straight on a call. They were maybe planning to move in the future, but they just aren't ready yet. This is where your email marketing will do wonders by adding value on autopilot and make it a simple choice when ready to move. Now, if you don't have money to go through and start, 
I'm not saying you got to go through and spend a thousand dollars a month to make this work. What I'm saying is you've got to go through and figure out what the resources are. Remember, we talked about the obstacles and solutions. So if that's an obstacle right there, you don't have the money, what are some solutions that you can overcome? And what are some free market ways that you can go through and connect with people you already know? And get some of that commission and fuel to take things to the next level. When you are consistently running ads, you will see a compound effect beginning to take place. Your ROI will become insane. This is where consistency is vital. Using leverage. By using your Facebook ads, you are giving yourself leverage. And what I mean by that is when you're out, the most important thing you can do is work with your clients on the phone or in person showing them houses going through and helping. If you are out with a client, you can't be prospecting. Still, with Facebook ads, your prospecting is running 7 days a week, 24 hours per day, all the time getting you massive exposure. This is what you hear all of the time getting your money working for you. This is a form of investing when putting your money into Facebook ads. Another huge bonus that Facebook ads will give you is unlike Trulia, Zillow, and Realtor.com, is that these leads are your own. They are exclusive leads and very inexpensive when compared with other advertising sites. By using the relatively inexpensive Facebook ads, the little guy finally has a chance to compete against the big businesses. And all for as little as $5 per day. To put it simply, if you are getting leads in your business will continue to grow.